grading scales, getting to know more staff members, and a recap from the pep rally, all on today's Cat's Eye News. What's up Wildcats? Here at Nova High School, classes are split between a standard and 4.0 grading scale. However, these two scales are very different and have a lot of pros and cons. But first, let's go ask our students what they think of these scales. In my opinion, I like the 4.0 grading scale better because it's lenient compared to the standard. So I like the 4.0 scale better because like it's easier to get an A. Now hear me out. The only reason I passed Spanish 1 is because of the 4-point grading scale and I go with it. Just like Enzo said, 4-point grading scale slays. I agree with the what they said for the 4.0 grading scale because it's easier and I passed math last year because of it. I like the 4.0 grading scale. It's easier to get an A and I like it. <laughs> Personally, I like the standard grading scale better just because like I feel like the 4.0, there's a lot less incremental value. It's not as specific as like the standard grading scale and I feel like it doesn't really reflect your grade as well. I like the standard one because you can actually read it better. I think I prefer the 4.0 scale. It's a little like easier on the grading. While it is nice to get like a 3.5 and then still get an A plus. Like getting a 3.4 and getting a B is kind of sucks. I like the standard grading scale because it's like easier to determine which letter grade you have. The GPA grading scale is just for report cards. So I like the four point grading scale. It's a lot easier to get an A than if you do the standard grading scale because the percentages are different. I like the 4.0 scale better because I feel like it's easier for the teachers to grade and easier for the students to keep up with their grades. I like the four point scale better. It's just more simple and I feel like it brings your grade up like higher and you can get your grade up even faster. I prefer the regular grading system. I feel like the 4.0 grading system kind of generalizes grades too much. Even if like the 4.0 grading system takes into account like grades below 50 can really damage your grade. I don't know, that's kind of your problem. Standard because 4.0 it's hard. Why? <laughs> it's harder to understand. I didn't understand it last year. All right. Overall, about half the students we interviewed think the 4.0 scale is better. But what are the major differences? I wanted to know the thinking behind why the 4.0 scale is being implemented to all of our classes next year. So I want to ask Mr. Combe. Hi there, I'm Andrew Combe. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Assessment here at Novi. I was previously the Assistant Principal here at the high school and also at our middle school. What is the 4.0 scale and why is it different? So the 4.0 scale is based on a traditional idea of a, B, C, D, E, right? So your GPA is four to zero, class letter grades are basically A, B, C, D, and E. And so the idea of a four point scale, you'll hear it sometimes called equidistant, is to make sure that there's fairly equal space between an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E. With the 100 point scale, sometimes that's not true, right? When you really bomb a test and get like a 27%, that's way further away from a D, right? Why is the scale being implemented to all of our classes next year? So the idea is it's, it's more fair, for kids. One thing I think that's tricky is some kids think that it's inflation, which it really isn't. If you were going to get an A in a traditional percentage scale, you'll likely get an A in a, in a 4.0 scale. But what it does help do, you know, if you've had a hard time and you didn't turn something in and you got a zero, right? Let's say you get one zero on, on a big assessment and then you recover and, you know, next month you do a great job and you get an A. You get like 100%. If I have 100% and one zero, what do I have? An E, e yeah. right? In my mind, if you have one awesome success and one failure, shouldn't you be somewhere in the middle, right? Like a yeah. C, not an E. But in a 100% scale, you get an E. If you use a four point scale, which we do with our GPA, right? If you have one A, which is a four, and one zero, you end up at something in the middle. So you'll end up with like a two and a half, which is like a C. So the idea is it's far more equitable and it matches our GPA scale as it is right now. Over the next few years, are we gonna kind of see an increase in students' grades and performance? I think so. I think that one thing that it helps is a lot of kids, you know, if you struggle a little bit and you've gotten a few of those low grades, 
rates, you know, a zero, a 20 something percent. What research actually tells us is that those things don't motivate kids. A lot of times you'll hear that, oh, if you get a zero, that will that means you work harder. But really what happens, when you realize you have like a 23% in the class, a lot of kids start to give up. But when you realize that you're not that far from passing, then kids tend to, to continue to stay engaged. What it doesn't do though, is it doesn't give easy scores to kids. Like, you know, even if you pass a few things and fail a bunch of things, you're gonna, you're gonna pass, but you're not getting an A without doing A-level work, right? That hasn't changed. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. No matter if you like the standard or the 4.0 scale, the 4.0 is coming next year no matter what, so be ready for it. Thanks for watching Wildcats, I'll see you next time. Last year, thanks to all of you, we were able to raise $2,800 for a single mother of two battling stage four breast cancer. The money you raised helped to cover a Christmas trip as well as her car insurance. We need your help to give women access to vital treatments and equipments needed in the recovery process. With your contributions, we can support more women fighting breast cancer. In honor of October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are partnering with Pink Sisters in order to raise money and support women during the battle of breast cancer. Pink Sisters is a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting women in the Metro Detroit area. We'll support these women with a post mastectomy camisole program which provides free post surgery camisoles. Chemotherapy cold cap sponsorships which provide financial assistance for cooling cap machine rentals and other efforts to help support women facing breast cancer, such as groceries, insurance, and so much more. Thank you for your support! What is up, Novi? This Friday, Gang Club is having their first meeting in room 247 after school. There will be a meeting every Friday. Bring a friend that likes games. Hope to see you there. What's up, Novi? Are you taking an AP or IB exam? Register by October 18th and submit your payment by October 25th. Now, a 2024 pep rally recap. I apologize for the sound quality. It was windy. of no five. Today I'll be showing you guys historic things in every nation, which I'll be turning into a series. Let's get started. Today I'll be talking about a classical Indian dance called Bharatanatyam. There are seven stages to this dance, which is Punjabi, Alapuri, Zetaswami, Shabdam, Varnam, Padam, and Tilana. Each of these stages have a special role in this dance that the dancer has to execute. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a nice one, sit no down. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm here with Kathy Ferris. And what is your role here at Novi High School? I'm one of the district nurses. And what is an unpopular opinion you have? Unpopular opinion is that masks do not work unless you use them correctly. Agreed. Okay. My name's Christian and I'm with Miss Marion. I'm Miss Marion. What do you teach here at Novi? Um, this year, I'm teaching ALA 9 and 10. And what is your hot take? Um, that Twilight is a good movie. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Hello Novi, thank you for watching our broadcast today. Make sure to stay tuned for our next episodes, always Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Goodbye.